Boeing's FA-18 Block III Advanced Super Hornets Jets for Indian Navy, the most awaited Tom Cruise movie Top Gun Maverick is all set to hit the big screen. The movie will see the actor flying a FA-18 Super Hornet fighter jet as a naval aviation test pilot. The movie has expectedly received an unprecedented promotion and grabbed the global media limelight, and so has Boeing's powerful but non-selling F-A-18 Super Hornets, which have hit rough weather in the last many years, losing to competitors like Lockheed, Saab, Rafael. As the film hits the theaters later this week, the Block 3 variant of Boeing's FA-18 Super Hornet undergoes extensive trials by the Indian Navy at a static facility in Goa. Boeing is competing against Dassault Aviation's Rafale Marine warplanes. The going has been tough for Boeing as the Indian Air Force already operates the Rafale fighters to great satisfaction. And most defense officials and aviation experts have labeled the Rafales as the favorite to win the contract. Boeing must convince Indian officials that an essentially non-selling alternative could be best suited for its new aircraft carriers. Two variants of the F-18 Super Hornets are set to take India by storm, one on screen and the other at INS Hansa Naval Station in Goa. Even though the F-18 Super Hornet is considered one of the most lethal and combat-proven aircraft in the U.S. arsenal. The U.S. Navy itself had announced in 2020 that it would stop buying the F-A-18 Super Hornets. The Block III variant has since received some appreciation, with the first operational aircraft of the Super Hornet being delivered to the U.S. Navy in September last year. However, finding more customers in the foreign market would decide the fate of this aircraft. Even though more than 700 F-A-18 Hornets and Super Hornets are in service today, only Australia and Kuwait have purchased the fighters. In 2010, Boeing announced a Super Hornet International Roadmap highlighting a set of potential enhancements to the F-A-18E-F Super Hornet to boost its exports. Given the backdrop of disheartening losses for Boeing, even though it has been widely understood that Boeing's offer is more cost-effective, the Indian Navy is reluctant to make it a single-vendor competition. Speculations were earlier rife that the Indian Navy was exploring the option of getting some Rafale M on lease. The Super Hornet and the Rafale M both fit in within the requirements of the Indian Navy. Now, of course, they do have to pass certain tests which would ensure their compliance with the requirements of INS Vitrant aircraft carrier. Rafale was built around the 2000s and hence features more advanced tech when compared to the F-18. However, it is also pertinent to note that Hollywood has been the most powerful instrument of America's soft power, Tom Cruise is not only bringing his breathtaking aviation scenes to screen but also putting the F-18 Super Hornet back in the limelight. Thank you for watching please like, share, comment, and subscribe.